few icicles hanging there on the old truck. Pretty chilly. A lot of people don't think Arizona, when they think Arizona, they think just pure desert. Well, I'm at 6,000 foot elevation here, and I'm only about 15 miles from the largest Ponderosa pine stand in the world. So, yeah, people don't know that about Arizona. Well, it's time to make a, uh, a trash run, an off-grid trash run. Think about moving off grid, you're still gonna have trash. Are you gonna burn it? What are you gonna do with it? Something to think about. Yeah. You ready to go do a trash run? Huh? You ready to go do a trash run? She's a pretty girl. <laughs> Whoa. Really, Mark? Did you just take us on a trash run? That might be something that you don't normally think about. You know, when you're making your off grid plans or something, and you live out ways out what are you gonna do with the trash i know some places you can uh burn it but here in arizona especially in the summertime definitely a wildfire hazard i wouldn't even think about doing that burning trash uh definitely no trash man coming to the house but luckily for where i'm at we do have a community dumpster it's about four mile drive from my place if we didn't i'd have to go to the dump every so often which would suck, you know, but I would do it if I had to, but that would be a, that'd be about a two hour total trip to go to the dump for household trash. Really don't want to do that. So I'm thankful that the property that I found had a couple of amenities. So, uh, yeah, something to think about. Trash? Yep, trash. Small thing, but it's a big thing. All right, let's get back to the house. Hey there. Hey there. Say hi. Say hi. So one of the big questions out there is, can you make money on a small off-grid homestead? Heck yeah, you can. And it's easy to get started. No, little or no startup fee. And how we did ours, our first plan was, when we planned the, the animals that we were gonna have to harvest, we wanted them to be able to pay for their own feed. So the rabbits, for instance, we can sell these rabbits. This I got six babies in there. I can sell them. I base price sell them for $20 each. And these are, I have pre-ordered rabbits. And I'm going to, I have five females here that I want to be breeding here. Wait a little bit till it warms up. Not too hot, but warm. And I'm going to breed them all at the same time. And then I'll sell good portion of those rabbits and the rest to go in the freezer but i base price sell these at twenty dollars a piece and depending on how far i have to drive to meet somebody i'll add five ten even fifteen bucks if i have to because how far it is because i'm a minimum an hour away to meet somebody to, in the closest town so rabbits sell easily and you can i put them when i put them out there for sale I'll, the different facebook things like we have different rabbit facebook things arizona rabbits they're on there we have uh the home different homesteading facebook deals you can sell them out there but what a lot of people don't know about there's also bulk buyers of rabbits there's companies that they travel around to different states they'll do pickups and they'll buy your rabbits and they pay you by the pound and there's usually a minimum amount you know different different companies have different uh minimums that they want you to bring but they'll pay you by the pound, and usually like about once a month, you can take your rabbits and sell them to this company. And what they do, they whatever the, the markets are that the people are buying rabbits in bulk, they they take them, they process them, and they sell the meat. So a lot of people don't know that. You know, rat, buy rabbit coal or find some rabbit coal buyers, and they will uh, they'll definitely take the rabbits off your hand. They're always looking for people to supply rabbits to them, and they. And most of the people that do it for them are just small little rabbit trees, homesteads, and uh, they click, get, pay you by the pound, and they uh, take them to wherever they sell and make their money. So capitalism. So that's one way. Um, that's the easiest and quickest money maker for us, the rabbits. However many I want to sell, I, I could sell them. Now, we all know chickens, chicken eggs. If you can incubate your own chickens, 
you can hatch and sell chickens. People want to, especially right now, people want to buy chickens. Eggs, you can sell eggs at your farmer's markets, on the different uh, social media pages. People want farm fresh eggs. Quail. I have quail and quail eggs. I have people wanting quail and quail eggs right now. You know, my quail, I give them a break in the wintertime for a couple months, but I'm going to get them started back up soon. So I can, quail eggs, they sell for about five, six bucks a dozen. And I have, I mentioned in a previous video, I have one buyer that will buy them all. So what you got to think about is start off with small. What steps do I need to take to make my animals pay for themselves? So then they're, they're paying for their own food and they're providing food for you. So that right there is putting you ahead. Okay. And then you can extend from there. Okay. I got them paying for their own food. I got them providing food for me. Now I want to make a little extra pocket cash. So you can determine and go pretty much as far as you want. And it's, like I said, it's easy to do. So you can make money on homestead. You can do them with excuse me, you can do it with cattle and things like that, but that's a little larger scale and a longer process. Rabbits, it's quick and, and they're, they're easy to maintain. So if you want to make some money, I would start with rabbits. Let me put this little guy back. Say bye. Yeah, cutie. Here you go, mama. Here's your babies. Here's your baby. So yes, it's definitely easy to make money on a homestead with animals. Just figure out what your needs are, your food supply for your family, how much you're going to need to feed them, and then how much you're going to need to feed your animals, and go from there on how, how you're going to sell them, what you're going to do with them. You'll make some money. It's easy as that, you know. Um, I would get into all the kinds of numbers and stuff. I might do a video on that down the road. Or I break down the numbers and things like that and uh, show you how it works out for us selling. But just it's simple, though. Just telling you easily $20 a rabbit. Uh, a rabbit, they'll, show, they'll usually have a minimum of about seven in a litter, seven kits. So that sometimes more, 10, 11, you know. And uh, there's, a, there's a good survival rate with them. So... Occasionally, you'll lose. We had one here. She, she, uh, it was her first litter, and she had them on the wire, which means out of her nesting box. She had them on the bottom of the cage, and it was cold, and they froze. Or she had them at night, and before I could get her the next morning, they froze and died. But that happens. That's part of it. That's something you got to uh, have your mindset for. You're, you know, not everything's going to survive on your homestead. So that would have been money maker for me there. She had seven. And I lost all seven of them. But it was her first litter, and usually they learn after that. You know, she just built her nesting, her nest on the side of the nesting box and not in it. But she'll get it right on the next one. So that's why I decided to wait this year on breeding the rest of them. Because uh, I wanted to wait till it was a little warmer, but not too hot. So then breed them all at once and sell them. And I'll make a, a good chunk of change and provide for my food for my animals and for us for quite a while. So something to think about there. Easy to make money on the homestead. Just don't think, overwhelm yourself with the thought. Keep it simple. You know, Facebook marketplace, Instagram, all those different things, you know, you can you can sell animals on there. And uh, pets, sell them as pets. People want to buy pets. That's a, a good way too, you know. 20, 25, 30 bucks a piece. Easy money, easy peasy. And like I said, not a, money, not a money up front. So give it a shot. You can do it. Make your plans. Get her done. Appreciate y'all watching. Like and subscribe to keep up. We'll catch y'all on the next one. Bye.